Good job, comrades. They will be talking about this day for decades. <laughs> I didn't expect that energy from you, comrade Yuri. <laughs> See? I don't only build houses, I also build this rock-solid body. Make a head count of the wounded, and check our remaining supplies. We will need to work in groups of three, in case the creatures come back. Thank you, comrades. All of you. The glory goes to every one of us. Victory? Okay. But what does it mean to us? After we drove the critters away, the self-purification system began to run slower. Ha <laughs> ha! Time to go all out! Let's go, comrades! For a brighter future! Energy has not run out yet. What on earth? It's the ore. Don't tell me it's still powering this thing. I see. So we just break that stone and it's over, right? Yes. Theoretically. Leave it to me! I'm the marksman here! Just need to get a little closer. Little closer. Comrade Adrian, Comrade Daniel, and I will go with you. There may be something we can do. Okay! Comrades, watch out! Attacks cannot break the stone at all. Comrade Winsor, what? What is going on? The cycle of lay energy is long. It may take months, years, or even longer than that to return to its source. As long as that ore remains on its neck, the lay energy will continue with the purification until it wipes out everything around. So all we can do is wait? For our own safety, we'd better stay out of this area until it completely returns to the source. I should have seen this coming. I'm so sorry. Comrade Patrick, Comrade Tikita, you're not down yet, right? Anyone else? We still got the digger, the crane, and our own strength. 
Let's try harder. It's nothing more than a stupid stone. We can do this. That's our last chance. Stop the senseless sacrifice, Comrade Knut. It's pointless to keep going. But to save Ryashki is also your dream, no? Our little one from afar swore she would unite all of us, no matter who we are or where we're from. We must keep all that in our minds. How can we keep up now? I'm so happy I came here and made friends with all of you comrades. You each have a kind heart and a strong will. Before I met you, my dream was only a joke to the other self. But you've shown me it isn't unreachable. Now it feels so real and heartwarming. Sometimes I almost forget that you see the fins and scales on my body. That's why I don't want you to sacrifice yourself for nothing. I don't want to lose you. What we want is to stay together. That's why we're fighting to save Rayashki, right? Kchurtu! These ones have lost their feathers. Are we still able to reach the sky? I want you to know, I recommended you to Zeno only because I was worried for your future. I did not want you to be stuck in a dying town. Comrade, you kidding me? And it gives me pain to see how brave and determined you all have been. I won't let any of you die here. The sad thing is, I took a very different path long ago. But what does it matter now? Ryashki is proud of you. I am proud of you. You will continue to build the new world of your dreams. Our dream. No matter where or when. I will always be there with you. Seize the opportunity. Vila, Winsong, my comrades! Природа — это числа и черты.
Ho umrat Yevgeni. K chortu! This is not fair! Just because he was the only pilot here doesn't mean he could make that decision alone. We should have had a boat. We fixed that fighter together. That was all left us behind. But he will always be our comrade, right? the future, child. The future will all reach one day. Комрад Евгений. Hmm.
Take heart, comrades! Everything he did was for Ryashki. We shared the same dream, didn't we? To do all we can for the good of the people. Reporting. Drilling rig clear. Ready for new exploration. That's the spirit. We must keep going. Only period. Yuri, start the machines. On it! Glad to have another best friend. I will become a great hero like you. It's a promise. A man's promise. Well, why are your feathers wet, Piotr? <laughs> you have water on your face, Miss Winsong. Can kids still cry after they grow up? I should have known. 
the abnormal fluctuation of the ley energy and how much of an attraction it is to the critters. I should have noticed they were different from my theory. At least this experience will be valuable for the study of ley lines, won't it? Take it in and make something of it. I am sure it will be of more help in the future. You are not only doing this for yourself or for me, but for those who sacrificed for all of us. We found it! This must be the new resource! Cole! It is Cole! We did it! <laughs> this is our coal! Comrade, we will use it to cook our meal tonight! And it will be the best meal I've ever had! Is that so, Comrade Nikita? You got a problem with my food, huh? I made a rough estimate. The resource here should last hundreds of years. For the first time in history, the theory of ley lines has been verified. There is no doubt your work deserves a fair assessment now. Thank you for your help, Miss Vila. We achieved this together, didn't we? Of course. The glory goes to every one of us. I'm very glad to see you again, Miss Vinson. <laughs> Are you? You don't look glad at all. <laughs> I admit, I underestimated the people here. Especially you, Miss Vinson. The great heroine who found coal deep beneath the town, huh? So. Did I manage to ruin Zeno's little plans? We have nothing left to do here. Zeno will leave soon. I know we disagree on many things. Our future included. Still, Zeno looks forward to working with you again. Hopefully in a more friendly way. I hope so, too. You don't want to be embarrassed by another lowly researcher again, do you? Goodbye, Miss Vinsong. Wait! I have one last question. Please, I'm at your service. Zeno confirmed the existence of Hoytuks in Ryashki months ago, but you just took care of them without letting anyone know. You already knew there would be a large reserve of coal here, didn't you?
After thorough discussion, the people of Rayashki have made their final decision. I stand here to declare the future direction of Rayashki. As of today, Rayashki will be no longer affiliated with any organizations and all factories dedicated to processing of runium ore will be shut down. What are we going to do for work, Sam? I don't want to sit around at home living on benefits. There will be many things to do, Comrade Valeria. As the elites above us struggle for power, we, ordinary people, suffer in darkness. But now, there will be a new source of power. One built to lift up the people, not to take from them. And it will run on Rayashki Kol. We will start new factories in Rayashki and explore the possibilities of working with other coal producers nearby. We will mine with our own hands and feed ourselves. Maybe we can even build a dock and sell our products far away. We will raise a new banner above Rayashki. One welcoming all ordinary people to come to a livable place with abundant power and job opportunities for their future. <laughs> what about your plan, Comrade Winsong? I think I'm going to stay for a while. You need to know that for now we must tighten our belts. Everyone's rations must be cut for some time until Rayashki gets back on its feet. At least for now, the study of ley lines belongs here. Not in the fancy halls and symposiums of human academia. This place still holds many possible research avenues. Monitoring the changes in the environment, further detailing the local lay energy map, maybe even studying the mutation of the Kikituks. I must finish them to further develop the study before it is ready for academia again. Then it sounds like you may be with us for a long time yet. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, you're expected to cut the ribbon at the ceremony. I want to apologize for being rude to you during class. I'll bring you some friendship cheese next time to apologize, I promise. You will always be our comrade. Hats off to you. performed very well at the ceremony. Will you come teach us again? We want to learn more too!
片。Miss Winsong, these sunflowers we planted are blooming. We protected the town. Begin the next chapter of Rayashki today. I'm so glad we will build it together. Привет, Rayashki.
Oh, thank goodness. I was hoping you'd be here. Oh, um, is this a bad time? <laughs> no, it's all right. Have a seat. I'm not a pure Rosalka. As you can see, I must get in touch with water every once in a while to replenish my power from the ocean. <clears throat> Hello, Comrade Vila. It's been a while, Comrade Winsome. They say you're working hard in the mine, and the study of ley lines is getting popular among the workers. They have helped a lot. My research on the environment wouldn't have gone nearly so smoothly without them. It's given a second life to my studies, and it is growing so well. It has even gained some recognition beyond Ryashki. I... I'm truly happy that I came here. I never thought Z Comrade Winsong would be so bashful over her accomplishments. I thought you were more stubborn and confident than that. <sighs> I'm only teasing, Comrade. It's a matter of fact that you're not as fearless as you pretend to be, isn't it? That's why we must all stick together to make up for each other's weaknesses and make Rayashki proud. Sorry, the speeches have become an occupational habit. Fine, you got me. But it's not a big deal. Just as you are not quite the gentle and demure school teacher that you appear to be. Are you, comrade? We're even. <clears throat> Actually, I've come to say goodbye. Laplace has invited me to give a lecture for their European branch. They want me to give a lecture on how I combined environmental analysis with the Arcanum based on what we've done here in Ryashki. Sounds like a very promising new beginning for your studies. How are things going in the town? We are getting more visitors now. It seems people are eager to see something different. I'm sure they will. We've also begun cooperating with many governments and agencies near us, including the Foundation. They hope to carry out some short-term training on the Arcanum for the children. What's this? Open it. It's from the Foundation. Mr. Name Day invites me to visit the Foundation and discuss further cooperation. The children are also waiting for me there. It seems they mentioned you all the time during their training. Did we miss the ley line exam? The Foundation has all sorts of incredible things. Like biting coins, noisy cold balls, a glass pen with rainbows inside. So much fun! I've mastered a lot of incantations! They missed the town and everyone. Yeah, we miss Comrade Alyonka, Comrade Blinchik, and Comrade Piroshki. They say we will be able to go home in a few months. I must master the most powerful arcane skills by then, so I can use them to protect the town. We'll transform into sea swallows. Then we'll be able to fly and fly to far, far away!
because Linska University Hospital received a rare case today. The patient's veins irreversibly transformed into electric wires. As of 1800, all arterial, venous, and capillary tissues throughout the patient's body have undergone necrosis. The director said they would invite more professionals to the consultation to decide on further research direction. Global Variety News has claimed the case may become one of the greatest unsolved mysteries of the era. They started a new column to analyze possible compatibilities between the patient's new wired veins and different appliances. Please stay tuned for more details. The Flying Carpet Travel Agency is starting a tour around Northern Europe where you will be able to see the breathtaking Aurora Borealis, pet fluffy keycairns, and even enjoy a flying carpet race. The destination of our tour is Ryashki, a mysterious town, the warmest place in the Arctic Circle, sitting atop many rich veins of coal. When you get there, we suggest that you abide by the town's wishes and work to earn what you need instead of buying it, though this is not an obligation, of course. But why not have a try when you're given the opportunity to experience a new and better lifestyle? Trust me, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> Where should I start, dear readers? Rayashki is like a sparkling gem embedded into the permafrost, and above lies an eye-catching banner. Perhaps it will draw even more attention in the future. Through the past decades, the citizens there have been trying to achieve something different for themselves. A great cause, which may take the work of generations to achieve. But now, they are no longer a nameless town in the far north, nor is their dream a passing fad bound to be forgotten. I sincerely hope all of us will be able to witness its history and its future. That's why I knew I must write down this story, in the hopes that their dream will remain in your heart forever. <laughs>